Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be my best of beauty for 2013, so well, let's get started. I'm going to start with primer, the first thing that you apply. The primer that has been the best for me this year is the Professional by Benefit. This primer just smooths your face and fills in your pores, makes your makeup last longer, etc, etc. For foundation, my favorite foundation this year was the Revlon Color Stay Whipped Foundation. And mine is number 150 Buff Chamios. I don't know how to say that. I'm sorry, honestly. So this foundation, I think, is just a classic foundation. I prefer this one over the, like, regular ones. It's medium coverage. It blends well. It's not super lightweight on the skin. My favorite powder is the Benefit Hello Flawless Powder. It's right there. Um, I did a review on this how to look the best at everything in light kit. I will link that video down below, but this powder is really amazing and it's, it kind of looks like you are wearing powder for sure, but I don't know. It's just, it has a really good coverage and I like that. Bronzer. We all know and love the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder in Sunny. If you have light and or medium skin, I know that some people do say it is orangey, and it definitely can be, but orange, orangey bronzers are meant for like lighter skin tone people, so... Yeah, okay, I have two blushes, one for the spring and summer, which is the Coralista by Benefit. It is peachy and shimmery, and it's just pretty amazing. Pigmented smells delicious. And for fall, I have the CoverGirl Cheekers 185 True Plum. Um, super inexpensive, good pigmentation, great for fall. What else can I say? Sunbeam is a really good liquid highlighter. You can control on how much you want. It still blends out really well. It's not too gold. It just gives a very beautiful glow to the skin. Personally, I don't fill in my brows just because I feel like it's always the wrong product. Then they make my brows look crazy. So I just use a brow gel. This one is the Maybelline New York Great Lash. And it's very standard and, you know, sometimes, like, the ends of my eyebrows get a little bit crazy. Um, but it's been working for me this year. My favorite eyeshadow palette and or eyeshadows is the Urban Decay Naked Palette. Naked Basics, I guess. Can you? <laughs> and let me just warn you, it's probably the hardest thing to open. So here are the colors, six colors. All of them are matte except for this one and they're not too powdery. They blend really well. I really like how there are a lot of mattes. I definitely prefer mattes over the shimmery colors, so yes. Okay, next I have three mascaras of the year. All of them from different companies, which is awesome. So I have Maybelline, The Rocket Volume Express. All of these are black and they are also waterproof. This one is a plastic wand and it's fat. Gives great volume. It can get a little clumpy, especially if you wiggle the wand through your lashes. I don't recommend you do that. I just recommend you just pull them straight up. No wiggling required. Another one, the same issue with the Rocket. If you wiggle it, it's going to get clumpy. This one is the Voluminous Carbon Black by L'Oreal. 
And I've bent the wand a little bit just so I can get some more product. But it's a really soft wand and it's not like rough on the eyelashes and it's a very wet mascara. That one is also very, very, very black. Okay. The last mascara is the CoverGirl Last Blast Fusion. This one is in the purple container. All of these mascaras have the same packaging and the same wand. Just a big, fat, plastic wand. This, is, this one is really good for separating. Okay, so let's move on to lips. So my favorite lips of the year were definitely the Maybelline Color Whisper. I have two. I have Coral Ambition number 35. Both of these colors are definitely more spring, summer, but they're super, super creamy. And Anyways, um, this is a really gorgeous fuchsia purple color. It's more on the fuchsia side. They're pigmented, but not super opaque. They don't settle into fine lines. They're creamy. They last. They kind of like stain your lips a bit. Um, a really great lip gloss is by Bite Beauty. And this one is in Sante. Sante? I don't know. They have a really weird scent to them. Ugh, I really don't like the smell, but this is a gorgeous color. I I need to get another one because this one's like running low. But it's a really nice like pink color. I wear this alone and or on other lipsticks and it lasts for like two, three hours. It's not sticky, but it's definitely not not sticky. You get what I mean. So this I got recently. This is my new favorite lip chap. And this is by Burt's Bees. And it is the... What is this? Hydrating and Reviving Lip Balm. It has ACI something berry. smells delicious and it is 100% natural. I just was feeling that my lip balms over the years, they weren't doing anything for my lips. You know, I would apply, reapply, fifth apply, 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 and nothing would ever happen even though in my mind I'd be like, oh yeah, that worked. Mm, totally did not work. Okay, so those are all the beauty items. I'm going to move on into brushes and some things like that. So my favorite brushes of the year have been the Real Technique brushes. Um, I think that they're really great. These ones you can get at Walmart. They have their like eye one, face one, etc., etc. This one, I don't know which one this one is, but this one's for contouring, this one's for buffing, I use this one for concealing, and then this one, the little, 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 little one, I use for, like, under my eyes, like, eyeshadow and stuff, so they're around $20, which is kind of expensive for drugstore, but I mean, it's okay. This dang bang, it's just like one little string, no, 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 stop. So I have three more things here to show you. One of them is, ew, this is leaking. Um, this is the Oxy Medicated Pads. I've mentioned this several times before. They're just so fast to use and they have 2% salicylic acid. This one is the deep cleaning one. They have two other kinds, sensitive and like regular, I guess. And I don't know, like they're really, really moist. You don't have to like wet them again they're amazing they're just great so yeah for hair I have been loving the macadamia natural oil healing oil spray I know that everyone talks about this but it's, seriously it's really good actually honestly honestly and this is my first one but I 
am getting another one for Christmas from my sister. So, that's awesome. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and they're kind of expensive, though. I think that this was $14, $15, $16 or so. Okay, last thing is a fragrance. I haven't had this fragrance fragrance i haven't had this fragrance for that long it smells amazing this is a lady gaga fame perfume it's so cute and mini and i think that the packaging is totally her but when you take the claw off it's very plain and no it does not stain your clothes and it smells really really sweet and delicious so yeah okay so that is all for this video i hope that you enjoyed thumbs up if you liked any of these products oh i forgot one last thing is the clinique moisture surge extended thirst relief this is an amazing moisturizer honestly dry oily combo normal skin any skin is really good it is honestly the best moisturizer I've ever used and I would definitely repurchase all of these products again. So now I'm done the video. So links and products will be listed down below. So I hope you enjoyed and I will catch you next weekend in my next video.